And here we'll be talking about the bone marrow structure and the blood supply to the bone marrow, okay? We get to see how the bone marrow is arranged, okay? Its constituents, all right? Its organization. They'll be looking at how blood is being supplied to the bone marrow, and that's through the nutrient artery, which is going through the nutrient canal or the nutrient foramina, okay? So discuss the bone marrow structure and the blood supply to the bone marrow. That's what we'll be looking at. Right. So looking at the bone marrow composition, guys. In the bone marrow, we have the compact bone. We have the spongy bone. No, in a bone. All right. So in a bone, we have the compact bone outside. Spongy bone, which is intermediate. And the bone marrow is actually what is inside. So now, taking the bone marrow outside is when we talk about the composition of the bone marrow, okay? We have the normal blast cells dividing nucleus. We have the meloblast. Basically, we have all those cells that are actually growing up to become red blood cells, growing up to become white blood cells, growing up to become lymphocytes. We have them in the bone marrow. Then we have other composition like the adipocytes, and those are the fat cells and the all. And when fat cells become so much, they form yellow bone marrow. Okay, so let's talk about the structure of the bone marrow. With that structurally, the bone marrow can be divided into the vascular and the non-vascular region. The vascular region is basically this region that has blood cells. Okay, if you look at a full bone marrow, I mean, look at a full bone, uh, there are some sides that don't really have blood supply. They are not in direct contact with blood supply like this side, okay? Like the epiphysis. Do you understand? And this is where the non-vascular regions, those are the regions that are not directly connected to the blood vessels. These are the regions that have what? Hematopoietic stem cells. The process of hematopoiesis occurs at those regions. So blood is being formed at those regions, so they don't really need direct connection to the blood vessels. Do you understand? So uh, bone marrow can be divided into vascular and non-vascular region. The vascular region consists of blood vessels that carry the stem cells and blood vessels into circulation and vessels that supply nutrients to the bone. So, okay, The non-vascular region contains the hematopoietic cells of various lineages and maturity. They also contain what stroma cells and extracellular matrix. Okay, Stroma cells like the fibronectin, the fibroblasts, the endothelial cells, and the rest of them, okay? Now, this is where hematopoiesis actually takes place, right? So now, the extracellular matrix is basically like uh, the structural, the proteins that produce structural support, okay? The stroma cells, they secrete a lot of growth factors, adhesion molecules, okay, that help um, hematopoiesis to actually be going on in succession, okay? The blood supply to the bone marrow is as simple as this. It's through the nutrient artery, blood drainage through the what? Nutrient vein, okay? I could see where they communicate, all right? They communicate via the what? Venous sinuses, or you could say the capillaries, okay? Where the arterials, uh, the arteries is become arterials, arteries is becoming venules, and venous is becoming vein. Okay, so looking at this now, we see that the blood supply to the bone marrow comes from two major sources. That's the nutrient artery supplying the blood and the nutrient vein actually what taking the blood away, okay? Doing a counter supply. So the nutrient artery, which is the primary source, it penetrates the cortex through the nutrient canal. The cortex of the bone, all right? But there's an opening for it to actually go through. That's the word nutrient canal, all right? Now we see that uh, in the marrow cavity, the nutrient artery bifurcates into ascending and descending central or medullary arteries from which radial branches travel to the inner face of the cortex, okay? So, ascending and descending, okay? Now, from which radial branches travel to the inner face of the cortex? Now, after repenetrating the, endo the endosteum, the radial vessels diminish in caliber to structures of capillary sizes that course within the canicular system of the cortex, right? So this is how the overview of blood vessels and bone marrow structure is, okay? Bone marrow structure has a compact bone, 
the compact bone, uh, not bone marrow structure, the bone structure. Compact bone, we have the other one, which is um, spongy bone, all right? From spongy bone, that's where we have the bone marrow properly. We have the nutrient artery and the nutrient vein penetrating through the what? Uh, nutrient foramina or the nutrient canal, right? And that's how uh, the bone marrow structure is, and that's how blood supply to the bone marrow actually occurs. Okay, so that's it. Bye.